this lesson, we're going to learn about nutrition, mainly the relation of nutrition to our food and diet. Now, nutrition is how your body gets nutrients from the food you eat, which it uses to perform various metabolic reactions. And from this simple definition, we can say that nutrients are gotten from food or that food is a source of nutrients. So here are some other important reasons why we need food. Now, food supplies the body with fuel for energy. It provides materials for growth and repair of tissues, and it helps the body fight against diseases. Now, food can do all these because it contains six different nutrient classes, namely carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and water. So carbohydrates. Carbohydrates exist in the form of simple sugars, such as glucose, lactose, fructose, or sucrose. It can also exist as polysaccharides, such as starch or glycogen. Most carbohydrates come in the form of starch from food sources like rice, potato, and bread. Carbohydrates are used by the body for respiration to release energy. Now, from the respiration equation, we can see that glucose plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water plus energy, and this comes from carbohydrates. Now, if there is too much carbohydrate, the body will store it as fat. An excess of carbohydrates in the body can therefore cause obesity. So lipids. The term lipid is the proper name for fats and oils. Food sources that have high fats and oils include meat, butter, cheese, milk, olive, sunflower. Usually, lipids from animals tend to be saturated fats, while plant lipids are unsaturated. Now, despite all the negative comments that fats get, they are very important to our body. They are very important for making cell membranes, for insulation, for protection of organs, and as a store of energy. Proteins. Foods high in protein include fish, eggs, beans, peas, and nuts. Proteins are necessary for the growth and repair of tissues and for replacing cells. Vitamins. Vitamins include vitamin A, which is used to maintain your eyes. And you can get it from carrots, fish oils, liver. Now, vitamin A improves your eyesight by helping you build your retina. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is involved in many body functions, including the formation of collagen, the absorption of iron, the proper functioning of the immune system, wound healing, and the maintenance of our cartilages, bones, and teeth. Vitamin C is found in fruits and vegetables, especially citrus fruits. And if you don't have enough vitamin C, it can cause scurvy. Vitamin D. Vitamin D helps the bones to absorb calcium. And you can get it from oily fish such as salmon, sardines, herrings and mackerels, red meat, liver and egg yolks. It can also be made in your skin when you are exposed to sunlight. And there are many other vitamins that we won't talk about in this video, but if you really want to learn more about them, you can click on the link in the description box and you can learn more about the rest vitamins. Now, the other vitamins include vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin B1, B2, B3, B6, B12, B5, B7, and then B9 or folic acid. 
So minerals. Minerals are found in foods like cereals, bread, meat, fish, milk, nuts, fruits, especially dried fruits, and vegetables. Now we need more of some minerals than we need others. For example, we need more calcium, more phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, potassium, and chloride than we need in minerals like iron, zinc, iodine, and copper. A lot of these minerals are the same elements as you would find on the periodic table. And there are a lot of minerals. We're going to talk about calcium and iron. Now, calcium helps build strong bones and teeth. It regulates muscle contraction, including the heartbeat, and makes sure your blood clots normally. Good sources of calcium include milk, cheese, and other dairy foods, green leafy vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage, and okra, soya beans, nuts, bread, and anything with fortified flour. If you don't get enough calcium, then your bones won't develop properly, which will lead to rickets. Iron is used to make hemoglobin in your red blood cells so that your red blood cells can properly carry oxygen. Sources include red meat, liver, eggs, and some vegetables like spinach. If you don't get enough iron in your diet, you can end up with a disease called anemia. And there are other important minerals, so you can click on the link in the description box below so that you can get the detailed article. And finally, we're going to talk about water. Now, most people don't consider water as a nutrient, but it is very important in the body. Now, we need water to stay hydrated in order to make sure osmosis in our system works properly between our cells, our blood, and our tissue fluids.